Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the GameGen channel, and welcome to a new year. Uh, it's been a bit hectic, to say the least. Uh, building a house, having a full-time job, and, uh, yeah, not much time to record, and not many games which I wanted to play which would do well in recording, if that makes sense. Um, so, thought I might start off slow. So this is Stories Untold, which is a little little game I picked up during the Steam sale over the holiday, and let's just get into it. All I know is it's good. I don't know what it is. Sometimes you may need to look beyond the screen to progress. Ooh. Okay. Riding on the, uh, the 80s theme very, very heavily. Oh, I should also mention I've built a new computer as well, so not that that was a problem to begin with, but it is a beast, maybe I'll do a little video just showing it off, but it's good, runs well. Stories untold. Yeah, it's got a very 80s television show feel to it already. Okay. Okay. The House Abandoned Interactive Horror Adventure. Okay. Come on. You pull up to the driveway of the family holiday home and park the car. It's dark, but it's as idyllic as you remember from all that time ago. You remember being told to look in the glove box before going in. It's good to be back. Uh, oh god. Oh, text. Look in... Glove box? The glove box is closed, but appears to be unlocked. Oh. Open glove box? I was never good at text images. Inside is a key. And a handwritten note from Dad. Uh, read... Note. The note is from your dad and reads, Hi son. Hope you enjoy your break. You'll need to fire up the generator around back to get power and lights on. Also, found something in the attic for you. It's in your room. Enjoy. Okay. Uh... Ah, uh, okay. Let's, uh, fire... Ah, uh, no. Oh, press enter to continue. Oh. You pull up to the driveway of the family holiday home and park the car. It's dark, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's good to be back. Okay, so let's... Go to generator. Uh, move to house. I don't know. Okay, I don't know. Um, help. Okay. Unlock door. Oh, hang on. I'm still in the car, aren't I? Exit car. You open the car door and step out. Yeah, okay. The house is grand, sat perfectly amongst the trees. In front of you is the front door. And the yard stretches round the side of the house. Uh, so I've got to go round. So let's go to the yard. You take a walk around to the yard. The yard has been well maintained. You spend a lot of time here with your family on holiday trips. Good memories. Okay. I'll uh, go to back. Of house? You'll look around back to the front of the house. No, no, I, okay. I didn't want to do that. Alright. Go to the yard. And then I want to go to the generator. Go. Go. Oh, look around. Let's go look around. Send a generator on the back wall of the house. Go to generator. You're standing next to the generator. Uh, start general generator. You switch the generator on and it wears to life. The house is still dark. Oh, probably because I haven't got any lights on. Go to house. 
You walk back around to the front door of the house. Okay. I'm back in. I'm back in the the rhythm of a text adventure. Blah 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 blah. Okay. Unlock door. Door with key. You set the key and turn. The door lock clicks open. Enter. Enter house. You step inside the front door. You enter the house to the hallway. It's dark and you can't see anything. You feel a light switch next to the door, however. Turn on light switch. You flick the light switch and the lights come on. The hallway is now brightly lit. There is access to the kitchen and living room here, as well as a set of stairs going up. Uh, kitchen. You walk into the kitchen. The kitchen is tidy and well kept. There is a door to the utility room, but otherwise, it's just a kitchen. Let's look around. It's very clean and tidy, not been used in a while. Okay. Go to utility room. Okay, so it's locked. Alright, so go back. Oh, sorry. Go back. Back out to the hallway. So let's go. Yep. Go to living room. Spacious and comfortable living room. We spent a lot of good time in here playing board games with the family. Warm and inviting. Let's look around. There is nothing here of interest. Okay, go back then. Let's go up the stairs, I guess. Up the stairs. The stairwell landing. There is a bathroom and two bedrooms, yours and your sister's. Pictures adorn the walls, images of happy times. Look around just to check. A standard landing, there are picture frames covering one more. Okay. Go to bedroom. Which bedroom? Uh, mine. Uh, your bed. Uh, go to your bedroom. You walk into your old room. Your old bedroom. So many good memories in here, and it's been preserved so well. On the desk is a gift wrapped box. Let's just check around. It's a standard bedroom, a desk, a wood grain TV, the usual. Okay. Open, open box. You unwrap the gift excitedly. You can't believe it. Dad has found your old computer. A Futuro 120K plus two has been preserved well in the attic and hopefully still works. Your old bedroom. Oh yeah, okay. So we've got that. Huh. I'm playing that game though. Uh, go to sister's bedroom. Okay, fine. Go back. Let's investigate the sister's bedroom. Okay. Your sister's room is in perfect condition, untouched since the last time you had seen her. Posters of her heroes and some of her own attempts of art adorn the rules. A few shelves are crammed full of trophies. Her bed is drowned under a pile of colourful soft toys. A real nostalgia trip. Nostalgia trip. There is also a large wardrobe in the corner the room. The door slightly ajar. Open the wardrobe. This is going to be a trap. I'm going to die. It is empty, apart from a pile of scattered photographs at the bottom of at the bottom. Look at photos. They are all identical. A forest road at night. You put them back. Okay. Uh, go back, I guess. You step back onto the landing. Okay, so let's go to the bathroom and then let's set the computer up. Go to the bathroom. You step inside the bathroom. You are in the bathroom. There's not much to note, but it's all in good order. Look around. The bathroom is clean. A large mirror sits above the sink. Look at mirror. See your reflection. Looking good. Uh, go to toilet. 
Okay, never mind, go back. Okay, so let's go. Go to uh, your bedroom. And let's set up this game which is already set up. Set up computer. You start to plug in the various cables and leads. The computer is all set up and ready to go. There is a game here too. Oh, okay. Play game. You put the cassette in the computer and press play. Ah. Um. Okay. You pull up to the driveway of the family holiday home and park the car. It's dark, but it's clearly neglected. You remember being told to check the glove box. Alright, let's... Inside is a key and a handwritten note from Dad. You take both. Exit car. You force the warped car door open and fall out. The house looks abandoned. There's a yard to the side, wood creaks in the wind, and all happy memories are gone from this place. There is no love here. Okay, read note. The text seems to read, This is what she wanted. Okay, this is a bit creepy. This is a bit creepy. Okay, uh, I'm going to assume that I go to yard. You step through the debris to the back end. Okay. The grass is overgrown and weeds crawl up the side of the house. It's not a nice place to be. You clutch the note, needing to look around. Look around. There is no generator next to you. Start. Start generator. Ah. Uh, uh, there isn't much fuel, but the generator st Oh, God. Go to house. Oh, God. Um... Oh, this is very well done. Please tell me that when I open... Unlock the door... That it's gonna do an unlocking sound. Ooh. Open door. Ah! <laughs> Pitch black, but your senses are punished while they'll smell. Stale air and damp. This could not be less inviting. The note burns in your hands. You feel compelled to read it over and over again. Read note. It's too dark to read, but it feels weird to the touch. Turn on Afraid of what you might see, you flick the light switch. The lights flicker on and off. The walls are falling apart. After years of neglect or worse, there are stains and trails all over the cup. Upstairs, the sound of lung. Uh, oh god, how do I stop it? Ah! Oh god, what the fuck? You're still in the hallway. The noise has stopped, but you feel a presence. Someone is in the house. They should not be here. There is a kitchen and a living room adjacent, and the stairs leading up. The note feels disgusting in your hands. Read note. I can't read the note. It's bleeding. What the fuck is... I didn't even notice the kid's eyes have been scratched out in the picture. Uh, go to kitchen. Go into the kitchen. The kitchen stinks and feels completely unfamiliar. The tabletops are rusted metal and there is a carcass on the table. There is writing on the wall and the utility room door has a red X painted on it. Open utility door. The door is locked. I can't get in there. Not yet. Go to the living room. I'm sorry. Okay. Go. Oh, hang on. Look around. There seems to be writing on the wall in what looks like blood. Read writing. In blood, the number 1986 is smeared across the wall. Okay. 
this is getting creepy now. This is actually really, really good. Uh, go back. You step back to the hallway. Your shoes are wet. You are still in the hallway. The noise has stopped, but you feel a presence. Someone is in the house. This should not be here. Go to the living room. You enter the living room. I really don't want to come up. The living room, although hardly an appropriate term. The furniture is threadbare and worn. The note is fixed in your mind. Dread fills the pit of your stomach. This is not a nice place. Run down and empty. Abandoned and for good reason. Look at the note. The note, always changing now, reads, Get through this. I don't care if you want to or not. The living room, although hardly an appropriate term. Okay. Let's go, let's go upstairs. Let's just do it. Go back and let's fucking fucking do this. Go upstairs. You head up the stairs. They creak. Same but different. The landing has access to your sister's room, your room and the bathroom. Pictures are all over the wall, but something is different about them. Ah. Oh god, stop! Ah. You oh, voices spill out of the phone into the room. Whoever is in there should not be here. You need to hang up the phone. I do, however. You consider worse. Relief. Same, but oh god. I knew that was gonna happen as soon as I saw the phone. Okay, fucking... Look at pictures. The pictures are of your family. The eyes have been scored out on all. Yes, I did notice that. Go to... Bathroom. You enter the bathroom. The bathroom feels disgusting. Every surface is covered in a layer of oily grime. The sink is a haven for all kinds of bugs. A broken mirror hangs above the dirty sink. Taps rusted in position. Look at the mirror. You can't bear to look at yourself. Okay. Lovely. Go back. Okay, let's go to the sister's room and then... My room? Jennifer's room is boarded up. You can't bear this. Oh no. Let's do it. The door is bolted shut with a four digit combination lock. Unlock the door. You grab the lock. The lock is rusted, not used in years. The key in your hand weighs heavy, but note heavier. You grab the lock and you can now input the code. 1986. The lock clicks open. Oh god. Same. Oh, I don't want to open the door. I'm so freaking creeped out that there'll be a jump scare or something, but it's my own doing. Okay. The door is closed. What? Open door. Open bedroom door. You open the bedroom door. The lamp, okay. Go to your bedroom. You enter your bedroom. <laughs> the bedroom feels utterly familiar. The walls are damp, but you've been here before. In front of you, a lone person sits in front of a computer screen. The lamp is on. A clock reads 999. You shouldn't be here. I shouldn't be here. You grip the note tight. Read note. I'm sorry, Jennifer. I'm sorry, Mum. I'm sorry, Dad. You haunt every step I take, even in this place. It was out of my hands, but still you punish me. I can be with you now. 
There is nothing left to do. I'm consumed and confused. This has to end now. You are pathetic. It was all your fault. Say it. I am pathetic. Oh, please, stop. Help me. It was all my fault. Say it. Oh, God. Oh, God. F I N A L. Oh, God. Oh, that was really good. That was a neat take on, um, on the text-based adventure thing. That was really cool. But that was only episode one. There are three more episodes after this, each with their own unique twist on things. So, if you want to join me on the next adventures of Stories Untold in The Lab Conduct, then please do. And until next time, this is The Game Gen, signing out.